counselor. For any judge, the confession of the person who is being blamed is evidence enough. That's up to me to determine, counselor. After the 72-hour period, the date for the following hearing will be established. That is all. Good afternoon. All rise. It won't be so easy for you to condemn an innocent man. We still have 72 hours to present evidence. We'll make the most of it. No, George. As long as Paloma continues to be in Fabian's hands, we won't do anything against him. Understand. You have to understand that, please. <sighs> George, make Mariano take Paloma away, please. Make her go back to London. Only when she is safe can we attack Fabian, but only but only when Paloma is safe. My love. How's my grandma? How is she? Can I see her? What's happening? She's still in the ICU, my love. She hasn't regained consciousness. Why didn't you wait for me? Huh? I would have been with you and nothing would have ever happened to our grandmother. I have to see her, Daniela. I have to tell her that I love her so much. <laughs> my love, don't worry. She knows you do. She does, I promise. Hello, can I speak to you? How is my grandmother? What is it? Please tell us. Listen to me, please. I will not lie to you. Her condition is very bad. She would have to respond in the next couple of hours to at least hope for uh, her recovery. Excuse me, doctor, what does that mean? She doesn't respond. Why doesn't she respond? Well, Mrs. Mrs. Inez had a vascular problem with her brain. It's called thrombosis. Is that serious? We're waiting for her to come out of it. Based on that, we will determine how serious the affliction is. Well, could she be affected badly? She could not recover at all. Are we going to the hospital, sir? Yes, Aurelio. No, hold on. Do you know where Elena Olivares lives? Yesterday I took her there. Uh, I'm sure I can remember the way. I'll tell you which way to go. George, we've been looking for you all day long. What happened? Have you heard news? It seems so. Enrique Galaviz checked the statement presented by Rafael Perez in Brazil. And he informs me that such a statement is invalid in Mexico, since no Mexican authority was present during it. Can I see that statement? I have it in my office. Then let's go there. Aurelio, you go to the hospital. Tell Daniela that I'll be at the council to call me there in case there's anything they need, okay? To the hospital? Yes. We had to hospitalize Ines. She couldn't endure so many emotions. Oh my god, this is absolutely too much. I know that what I'm about to say sounds foolish, but this seems to be a curse. It is a curse, Roberto. But that curse has a name. It is called Fabian Sanchez Serrano. Let's go. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Hey, why are you in here? For being an idiot. That makes two of us. But you surely get out quickly. 
Anyone can see that you have money. You must have a good lawyer. What are you being accused of? I was used to commit a fraud. My fiancé and I were used. That's what we all say. You're not gonna tell me... You're not gonna tell me that you're also innocent, will you, buddy? Man, justice is so unfair. And is she also locked up in prison? No. She isn't even aware of the problem. And that's how I want her to be. To never let her know that I'm here to save her. Man, that's messed up. Paloma. Diego. No, child, it's enough, Paloma. A woman drinks just to forget, not to become a brute. It's enough, Paloma. Well, then give me the bottle because Paloma. I still can't forget him, mother. I will never forget, not until I die. And since it's a long time before that happens, we'd better start thinking about being courageous about it. Give it to me, mother. You have to recover, my child. We have to think about our next move, Paloma. I will stay here. Listening to that cassette. Drinking tequila. Crying and... And crying, mother. Feeling sorry for myself for being such an idiot. And thinking that there's nothing worth going outside for. Oh, Paloma. This is absurd, my child. You've always been so brave, Paloma, and just look at how easy you can collapse like this. I haven't told you a single story for a long time, right? I just remembered a very good soap opera, Paloma. I know how it ends, Mother. I know what it's about because they are all the same. It's called Distant Loves, my child. It's about a young woman, a girl just as pretty as you are, my child. Yes, who meets a man, no, it's not mother, just about and yes, I walks know. out on her, and she ends up alone and gets drunk afterwards. No, Paloma, because when the man lets her down, my child, she realizes she's not seen many things. And there's a large number of people who love her, Paloma. Oh, she hasn't realized that there are many people who love her even more than that man, my child. And then the young woman realizes that life does not end after one love. Life goes on, Paloma. Don't fall down, my girl. Oh. Mother. Do you know what I'm going to do? What, my child? I will just go to Mr. Avianeta's office to ask him why he wanted me to come and to find out if I can go back to London. But this time, you will go with me, Mother. You will go there with me. I really hope we can stay there, Mother. Because we will never come back here again. Never, Mother. What is more than obvious is that this statement was somehow prepared. It contains all the aspects Fabian needs to attack and does not question any part of Diego's statement. I believe the only purpose of this statement was to put Diego under pressure. And they succeeded. Do you think it would be possible for the Council to send someone to talk to Rafael Perez? We have the Mexican delegate for Brazil. No, 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 Roberto. We need someone who understands our laws. We need this to play Fabian's game. The only reason why someone can condemn himself with these kind of silly things is because someone promised him something. Huh, money, money. It must be a considerable amount, which we are in no position to compete with, are we? But we can offer a quite beneficial arrangement. What sort of arrangement? 